So today let's talk about okay some of the strategies. Okay, we have it. So assuming that okay, I just want to actually for a particular product. Okay, we have something okay the multiple okay storage types. Okay, so which storage type actually okay it has to pick it up. Or okay, which section actually okay, it has to pick it up. So like these things, okay, we have the strategies okay for the put away and as well as okay for the pick up also. So we have okay the good receipt process, okay, good receipt process, okay, we have the different storage types. And even today I will explain you that okay, what are the baddies also okay available, okay, and how actually okay we can go and okay use those things, okay. So we know that okay we can just okay define the storage type okay to the groups and then we can assign the multiple storage type to a particular group which we can okay use it okay while determining these things. So just okay let's define okay some of the set sequence okay for the port away. So I can just define it okay what are we the sequence okay which I just want it okay see here okay sorry in my HYD okay sorry. EHYD okay I just want to define okay one of the storage type set sequences okay that okay mm, first actually uh, let's say that okay the bottom to top okay so I just okay defined okay one of the storage type set sequence now to this particular storage type set sequence, okay, I want to assign, okay, some of the storage types also, okay, so, let me define, okay, the new entries, okay, so in EHYD warehouse, okay, so I just want to, okay, use my, okay, the storage type set sequence, okay, so, bottom up okay and now okay first actually okay I want to use okay the cold as a first possible okay the storage type now same thing okay I just want to actually okay if I don't find okay any other thing actually I just want to use okay that okay the different storage type of okay the like this thing. Can you see here now? This sequence number, okay, automatically, okay, it will be added. So in the EHYD warehouse, okay, sorry, I just, okay, forgot to use, okay, the BTMP here. Okay, I use the BTMP here. Now, we can see that, okay, the sequence number is 2. That means, okay, if I don't, if my search sequence actually could not find, okay, any bin, okay, which is suitable, okay, for my cold, okay, then it automatically, okay, goes to the okay, it will propose the bin as, okay, the hot storage type. Is it clear now? So, like this, thing, okay, this is actually, okay, finding, a, trying to find a particular storage type. Okay, so it's a very simple thing only. Okay. I, this yeah. year, this year went really, very fast. Uh, no, no. Okay. Is it better now? See, okay, I'll tell you repeat it again, okay. Uh, what I did defined is that I defined the storage type set sequence, okay. Yeah. Now, this storage type set sequence, what I'm telling is that, okay, just first sequence, access sequence number one, just try to find a bin in the cold storage type. If it finds it, that is okay. If it could not find a suitable bin here, then okay, try the access sequence okay two also here. Okay. So sequence. I can define it okay as many sequences as possible here, and this sequence okay we I can even okay uh, influence even it from the material master also. Okay. Uh, okay. Can we can we make it like not as the first access sequence? I mean as the first in the sequence. Uh, sorry, come again. Can we make hot or whatever it is as the first in the sequencing? Yes, you can do yeah. that. Also yeah. in case actually, okay. So you can just okay delete the old entry. So that okay. R, okay, what you can do is that okay, you can just go here for the one. You just simply go and okay, change the H O T S here and then okay, change the second entry as okay C O L D also. All right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So. So once actually you find a particular storage type, okay, then okay you can even define that okay the put away control indicators also. Okay. So put away control indicators are used, okay. If I use a particular put away control indicator, I can control that even the set sequences also. I'll show you that okay how actually okay I can just okay define it, okay. Let's say this thing okay in the EHYD. Okay. 
now let's say that okay uh, bt okay mp okay is my put away control indicator okay now bottom up okay control okay put away control indicators okay if i use this particular okay the put away control indicator okay it has to okay use okay this particular okay the storage type okay set sequence okay btmp okay now where i can use this put away control indicator this put away control indicator okay i I can use it in my material masters. Okay, exactly. So I'll tell you that logic actually now. Okay, so I can put okay use my put away control indicator. So put away control indicator actually okay, it will find me that okay what actually I can get it from the put away control indicator. Put away control indicator actually drives my storage type. Okay, set sequence. Okay, store it finds okay the my storage type set sequence okay, which in turn actually okay finds that okay the particular okay storage type. Is it clear now? So mm -hmm. this particular put away control indicator okay, I can put it in the my material master. Right. So like this thing okay. So at the end of this thing okay, even when I do the slotting actually ma for each of my material okay, it will propose me the right put away control indicator only. So once my right put away control indicator is measured out of my slotting okay, it automatically proposes my that corresponding storage type set sequence by which the result is nothing but okay, it can find that okay, the right storage type. Okay. This, yeah. This, yeah. If you open, yeah. if you go to the post master, we see uh -huh. in that. Um, uh -huh. There is a there is a checkbox in front of put away control indicator which says fixed. So yes. is, is it yes. something like check that out? Slotting and rearrangement will not touch it. Exactly. So what actually it will do is that okay, it will say that okay, you cannot go and okay overwrite with this thing. Okay. So what you do is that you just okay go and okay uncheck those things and then you can update those things. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. Because I couldn't find yeah. any documentation on that. No, actually, yeah, there's nothing. Okay, so so much of this thing. Okay, now yeah. once you define okay that particular put away control indicator, now specify that okay the storage type set sequence okay for the put away. Now here actually you can specify that okay for a particular okay the put away control indicator and for a particular process type okay what actually what set sequence okay it has to take it also. Suppose actually, okay, I can say that okay here, okay, copy it as okay in my warehouse EHYD. Whenever if I have okay the put away control indicator of okay that okay the BTMP, then even actually okay I can say that okay it has to be applicable only a particular process type only. Okay, or if I have a particular quantity classification, okay, we'll see this thing okay where in the packaging specification. Or if it is belong to a particular storage type or okay particular group, okay, then only or if it is particular belong to particular entitled to display, then use this particular okay the put away set sequence also. Okay, so even okay we can just go and okay define okay these things okay specific to the process types also. Okay. Correct. Yeah, so like this thing, okay, you can just go and always, okay, define, okay, to alter with the sequences, okay, which we want it. And there is always, okay, but always remember that, okay, this put away sets actually, okay, just tries to actually, or it, or it makes it, okay, a lot of performance issues, okay, you may face it also. So always, okay, you can define that, okay, if I have a put away control indicator, always, okay, go by this search only, or if I have a process type, okay, go by this search only. So you can optimize it so that, okay, system will not go for the wide range of search. Okay, so if you want it actually, if you want to improve the performance, then you can use it okay, to optimize the access strategy. So you can always say that okay, what actually you want to consider it, whether you want to consider only the put away strategy or whether you want to consider only the process type indicator. Do you remember whether it has to consider only the quantity stock also or it has to consider only the party to display also or whether it has to consider the hazardous rating. So you can say that okay, suppose in my warehouse, okay, I am not at all using okay this okay the stock type or if I'm not using the quantity classification so don't ch check the okay just okay leave them as blank so that okay system okay will not consider okay these particular fields in the put away set strategy so that okay system will try to find the target bin as fast as possible is it clear now yeah. okay so this way okay we can just okay improve the performance of the system only okay now once actually okay now what actually we found it here we found that particular okay the storage type here okay now once we found the particular storage type okay i have to define that okay the section only 
Okay, so next is that okay, the storage section. Okay, search. So same thing. Okay, here also you can define that okay the storage section indicators. Okay, E H Y D. Okay, so B T S. Okay. Save it. Now, just go back. Now, you can just specify that, okay, the storage section, okay, set sequence, okay. Now, just uh, copy this thing. So, in EHYD, okay, assuming that, okay, I, I want to do this thing, okay, in a particular, okay, the cold storage type, okay. Now, first thing is that okay, it has to find that, okay, in the section of, okay, 0001 also. Otherwise, okay, I can specify that, okay, if it finds this particular storage section indicator, okay, now, I'll tell you one more thing, okay. Now, cold. by default, actually, okay, it finds, okay, let's see this thing, okay, 0001 R, okay. I can specify that okay this is zero 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 two okay otherwise okay but in the core in the heart actually okay in the heart storage type okay if it finds actually the storage section indicator of okay if it finds okay the storage section indicator okay it has to put it into the storage section okay one now tell me that okay what is the difference actually here why actually okay what is the difference here in ehyd okay. by default it will go to the cold for uh, first section 1 and the second sequence 02 okay. if uh, but in the in the hot uh, storage type indicator with the section bts it will go to section 2 Exactly. So, assuming that, okay, if my, actually, okay, if my storage type, okay, if it finds it as a hard storage type, okay, and if my, actually, okay, if my storage section indicator, okay, if I don't specify, okay, other than, okay, the, yeah, yeah. suppose if it is, okay, the other than, okay, if it is BTS, okay, then it goes, okay, to the 001, okay, otherwise, okay, if I specify that, okay, the BTS as my storage section indicator, then it has to go to the, okay, the section 2 only. So, this actually is like, okay, more specific criteria. Is it clear now? Yeah. So, yeah. if I just specify that, okay, if my storage section indicator is BTS, then, okay, send it to, okay, the section, okay, triple zero two also. Is it clear? Then this BTS has to be addressed in the material master. Exactly. So, in the BTS, okay, where we can address it is, see, all the, okay, the indicators, okay, we will put it in the material master. And this is, okay, specific to the storage type. Yeah. Okay, so, is it clear now? Because the same material, okay, I'll be putting it in multiple storage types, okay, and in the multiple storage types, okay, I want to store them, okay, differently also, okay. Now, okay, so I can just define that, okay, in a particular, okay, the storage section, okay, whether I want to, okay, put that together, whether it's a no hazardous substance check and all those things, okay, so I can just define those things if I want it. Otherwise, okay, I can just, okay, by leave, hold, okay, leave them also. Now, once I find a particular storage section, okay, I just want to find, okay, the bin also. So, even in the bin, actually, you know that, okay, most of the times, okay, the, yeah. Uh, in the storage section uh, uh, check, uh, do we need to uh, always uh, check mark that it should be always be determined? Uh, no need actually, actually, it depends on actually, suppose, okay, you want to actually, okay, first it has to find it and then, okay, it has to check it, otherwise, okay, we can just put that, okay, uh, most of the times, okay, we can just put that, okay, it depends on that, okay, your configuration only, usually, okay, we may propose just the storage type and then the bin only, directly by the default ones only. Okay. Okay, otherwise, okay, we can just specifically put that, okay, uh, suppose, let's say that, okay, the search has to be always successful. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you have to put this checkbox at okay the storage section determination and check. Okay. Okay, so we can always okay define these things. Now in the bin actually okay we defined okay the different bin types and then okay for the bin type okay we can just okay define that okay the access sequence also. So we already defined in the EHYD okay we just defined it as okay the cold bin type also. So then we can specify that okay assuming that okay in the cold storage type okay 
and in section 0001 okay assuming that okay we have two different types of bins also assuming that okay we have bin type okay cb1 as a bin type and okay the cb2 as okay the bin type also so which bin type actually it has to be selected okay but again okay it all depends on okay the capacity calculation and everything so anyway when we come to the h2 actually we'll do these things now the put away rules also okay hmm. so whether it is a bulk storage or okay or okay whether it is always okay like okay adding to the existing stock okay these kind of okay the put away rules okay by default okay the standard things are okay but delivered also so even okay if you want to define okay the bin sub depth also okay you can define okay the bin sections also most of the times okay if you want it okay you can just go and okay define those things also so what is the maximum number of allowed what is the each bin type okay and then okay the bin sub depth also so how much okay the bin sub depth also you can just go and okay define it here i'll show you that okay this also has a indicator ah uh, no <laughs> okay this is actually okay bin sectioning right yeah exactly yeah. if you want to subdivide your bin okay to the up to like okay five levels or okay four levels okay so you can okay. most of the times okay you can use it okay suppose sometimes okay if the bin is actually containing okay more than three levels okay i don't want to store further actually so that okay my picking should be easy also so those kind of things actually okay we can use it in the bodies now okay. these are okay the strategies actually okay which we defined it okay next thing is that okay if we assuming that okay none of these things are actually okay useful to me my material is having a peculiar characteristics okay then in that case actually okay i have to use that okay the business add in also so i'll just show you that okay the business add in just note down that okay the business add in name so if you go One to second. your process yeah one second let me start as it yeah pen and, pen and paper it one second yeah sure sure so i just went to the menu path okay the business add ins for the extended warehouse management okay now you can see that okay that okay the put away strategies okay so the put away strategies okay what are all the things actually i can change it yeah i can change that okay the bin type set sequence see here okay i can change that okay the bin type set sequence using the body okay or i can change the okay the storage area okay or nothing but okay the storage type okay the set sequence and as well as okay the put away rule also or storage area is nothing but okay the storage group okay also and then okay i can change the okay the particular okay the bin itself okay here also okay and apart from that okay even the okay the storage behavior also suppose like okay when i want to add block that okay adding to the existing stock okay i just want to block using my custom code also so destination bin determination storage behavior block also okay i just want to those things are okay if it is a pallet actually okay the behavior if i want to change it also or adding to the existing stock behavior okay i just want to change it okay or even actually i want to put my own checks actually based on the destination bin okay check the storage bin entered okay suppose if okay, if i propose my destination bin i just want to put my own custom logic okay whether the particular bin is allowed or not also okay so everything okay we can just okay go and okay change it and even okay my system is trying to propose okay more than one bin then even i can remove some of the bins okay from the proposed bin also okay or even actually i can suppose if there are more than okay some five to six six bins okay then i can always okay change that okay that okay what fixed bin it has to be proposed also so by using these particular bodies okay i can change almost every behavior of the storage type for the put away is it clear now so we have that okay that okay complete control okay to determine the destination bin is this has to be assigned to the material master or how it going to work the body exactly okay suppose in the material master sometimes okay what people do is that okay they can put so some already defined yeah some other g fields okay they might have defined in the material master and based on the material master okay uh, they want to actually control all those things also suppose actually especially if you go to the okay the food or pharma industry okay they want to actually okay prevent okay let's say this example that okay uh, mm, two batches actually should not be always okay saved uh, stored it in the same batch uh, sorry same bin same bin okay let's take this example so how do i control these things 
I mean, at the, uh, at the time of court proceedings, it uh, does have to be deconsolidated? Sorry? At the time of the court proceedings, it does it have to be the deconsol uh, deconsolidated? Yeah, assuming that, okay, the deconsolidation. Okay, uh, but okay, uh, there is a custom. Okay, let's say this example that okay, uh, two. Okay, let's say that okay, the three batches. Okay, uh, one came from okay the U.S. Okay, let's say that okay U.S. Okay, Texas. Okay, and another came from okay the Michigan. Okay, and okay the one more batch actually okay came from okay that okay the Mexico also. So what I can okay put the condition is that okay the products actually which came from okay U.S.A. I can group them in the final put away. But okay, the products okay came from Mexico. I should never okay group them with the products okay came from US also. Obviously, those have different batches, right? Yeah, obviously, okay, they all have a th three different batches, okay. But okay, for these batches, okay, the country of origin, okay, for two of the batches, okay, the country of origin is same, but for the third one, okay, the country of origin is different. So the products, okay, from US actually, I can put them in the same bin, but for the Mexico, I cannot put them in the same bin. And where that control can be found? Sorry, okay, there's no actually, okay, the config actually, you can keep it here, okay, the only option is that, okay, we can only have that, okay, control it in the baddie only. So, in the baddie, actually, okay, what we do is that, okay, we can just, okay, read the stock characteristic and then, okay, determine that, okay, the, what is the country of origin and then just check whether the target bin, the current one, and then we can check it whether it is allowed or not. As an example, can you uh, uh, now? Sorry? Jimmy. Uh, can you show Jimmy. me on the baddie we can this? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, please, yeah. Jenny, oh, go ahead, Sinaj. Uh, yeah. excuse, excuse me. Uh, yeah, here, yeah. here we can uh, bifurcate by warehouse order creation rule with a route, route. If route is saying that it is coming from the Mexico, Mexico route, yeah. then it can be warehouse order will be different. And yeah, the, okay. we yes. can have you the can do that thing also. But okay, uh, the warehouse order rule, okay, may not have all the features, okay, of the stock, right? It will have okay some of the limited uh, fields possibly. only. Yeah. So I just yeah, want to give some example. Okay. Yeah. No, no. This is assuming that okay. This is I'm. These are the goods I'm receiving inside the warehouse, not for the outbound one. Right. Yeah. Right. That's correct. So, uh, okay. So uh, my assumption is wrong. For inbound, we cannot use warehouse order creation rule. No, no. You can use the warehouse route. order. No, no. You can use that warehouse order creation rule. No. But okay, the route actually does not come into the picture in the inbound side, right? Picture at all. Right. Then warehouse order, okay. yes, that's why already the destination bin is determined. Exactly. Yeah. See that warehouse order oh, creation. Okay. See warehouse order. Okay, comes into the picture. Okay, once you create the warehouse task, first of all. Yes. Is it clear yes. now? Because okay, I just want to actually clear the basic doubt. Warehouse order comes into the picture, okay? Once the warehouse tasks are created, warehouse task by the that means okay, the once the warehouse task is created for the put away. You, you know that okay where you are going to mm -hmm. store your goods also yeah. so these baddies yeah. are okay at the warehouse okay. task okay. creation so in the warehouse task creation okay let's say this example okay. okay in the warehouse task creation okay let's say this example okay now I have in the bin okay I have the stock of okay USA batch already okay <laughs> now in the bin 2 okay I have the stock of Mexico let's take this example mm. Now I got okay the new stock okay N1 and as well as okay I got the new stock of N2 also. Suppose in the N1 okay if the stock is okay the Mexico okay it should not be allowed okay to mix with the stock of okay the US stock. Yeah. Okay. Is it clear now? Is it controlled through configuration or uh, no? No, actually, we don't have actually that, that much that level of part, particular control because mm -hmm. this kind of requirement. Okay, I saw that. Okay, especially in the bonded warehouses. Okay, you need to find. Okay, you need to have this kind of requirement. Uh, you know, right? What is a bonded warehouse? Yeah, yeah it's custom uh, yes. Exactly. Suppose actually, yeah. uh, because okay, between each country to each country, okay, I am have I am going to have okay the different kinds of taxation, even though it's the same product. Suppose okay, same. Uh, let's take this okay, the electronics company okay, which I worked here okay. Let okay, what actually they have is that if the same product okay, if they get it from Mexico, they have a different condition. But if they work, if they get the same product from Mexico, they are going to have a different kind of conditions also, or they want to treat the stock differently for the different evaluations also. Hmm. So that's absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah. So like this kind of see, that's what. 
what okay. actually I'm trying to okay. say is that okay, you if you use the baddy, okay, you will have the hundred percent flexibility. See, SAP provided like okay, the storage type set sequences, section set sequences, or the bin type set sequences. Okay, so these are the ones okay which are provided by default actually. But if you want to have okay, our own like okay, it may be anything. I'm saying. I'm just giving one example only, which is not provided by the standard, but where you have to use the body, which is an actual requirement. Right, right, right. Okay, so, but in the body, okay, you have to decide it whether I can by using the body for the put away set sequence, can I control it, or by using the actual okay, the bin type set sequence, can I control it? Okay, suppose see here. Let's say that okay, my system is actually proposing okay the first thing as a cold storage type, and then next actually is trying to find it as a hot storage type, but if I get it for the material, okay, came from a particular country, okay, I just always want to propose it as a cold storage type. Let's take this example, okay. So what I can do is that, okay, you can do that, okay, the change the storage type sequence and the put away rule. So you can always go ahead and you can implement this particular body. And each body, okay, just ask the technical guy, okay, he will just go and, okay, implement this thing for you. Just, okay. And uh, see, once you have yeah. this body, it will override uh -huh. whatever is there in the MetaMask, right? Exactly. So this is actually the body. Okay, it will get executed. Okay. Uh, now it will not override all of them. Okay. Suppose if no, you implement only, only the storage time. type exactly. So if you implement the storage type set sequence, then it will only override the storage type only. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's why it depends on that. Okay. What are all the bodies? Okay. You just go and okay implement it. So. Just remember that, okay, these are all the baddies, okay, you have it, okay, so you just go and, okay, implement that particular body and then, okay, you just, okay, they can just go and, okay, write that code also. Okay. Okay, so is it clear now? So, yeah. these are the, okay, the put away statuses, okay, which we can, okay, go and, okay, configure it. So, let's, okay, configure it, okay, for some of the put away strategies. So, once we give that, okay, the put away strategies, so just simply go to the material master, Now, I think it's mat one. Yeah. No, no, mat one is for the global data. Mm -hmm. You have to always okay go for the warehouse middle master. Right. Yeah. So okay, in the BPHYD. So now you just go to the warehouse data. Okay, so we know that already the process type, okay, the determination indicator, okay. Now, we just defined that, okay, the strategies, okay, for the put away also. So, if my material actually okay, has to follow that, okay, the particular put away control indicator, okay, then I can always, okay, specify, you can, we know we created, okay, the BTMP as, okay, the bottom up, okay, control put away indicator, so that, okay, it has to use this thing. Now, assuming that, okay, inside this particular thing, now, if my material actually has to follow a particular storage section indicator also, so I can just, okay, go and specify it here, or it has to follow the particular bin type also, it has to go and find it here, or when I am storing it in the bulk storage, okay, how it has to be handled also. So, always, okay, the indicators, okay, I can go and, okay, put it in my material master. Similarly, okay, same strategies, okay, I can just, okay, put the same thing. Here we have a put away control indicator. Here something called this, okay, we have a stock removal control indicator. Now, just save this thing. Really, I have a question here. Yeah? Yeah. So, let me, uh, when you are actually, when you are actually, um, uh, let's say, creating 3,000, 4,000 material. Uh-huh. So what is what is the what is the best way to extend all the views and populating all the indicators and stuff uh, in EWM? Are there any standard no, programs? No, no. no. I, I'll tell you one thing. Okay. Uh, see, let's take the okay, the requirement. That okay? Uh, is it a fresh one or is it an ongoing warehouse? It's, it's a fresh implementation. In the legacy. Okay, so if it is a fresh implementation, okay, so what you might be knowing is that, okay, you know that, okay, where you are going to store that, okay, your materials? Right. Okay, so in the first time implementation, okay, once you load your material master, okay, so these things, okay, the warehouse data, okay, first time, okay, when you load your material master itself, okay, from the legacy, 
okay you know that okay by giving that particular control indicators okay it will go and okay update it in the middle master right right okay so even okay when i do the sif actually okay see usually okay the sif okay does not create the warehouse view first of all i am telling you by the default standard sap delivered does not create the warehouse view of the middle master when you do the sif okay so for that thing actually okay we have to do that to okay, get the sif user exit so in the sif user exit for each material okay for each specific warehouse okay you have to go and okay specify that okay what kind of okay the control indicators okay you have to just fill it up also okay, okay this okay. thing okay is a very common requirement okay even uh, uh, that particular body is also i'll just show you okay. there's a sif prod underscore okay the inbound body I think it's an enhancement or I think it's an enhancement okay hmm. let me show you that user exit okay Okay, so if uh, transportation lane, see if okay modify inbound okay. here. See if inbound body for master data hierarchy. Master data hierarchy product. Yep. Okay. Hierarchy so this product. Is for the location. Okay, master data hierarchy. Okay. It's Down. Yes. Okay. No. This, this one. No. No. Sixth. Sixth one. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Four five. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go. No, no, this is not this one. Single disk. No, the top. No, no, this is just one just one now. Yep, yeah. exactly. Okay. So. Like. <laughs> so even actually, I have that okay. The one of the implementation actually the code okay. Also the uh, template code okay, which we have got it and we used always for the same code for most of the clients. If you want it, I can share that code also with you. <laughs> this is a very much useful code, which you have to use it for every client almost. It's a ready-made kind of code. Yeah. So I always say Yep, yep. I can just okay put that code to you. That actually it will be very helpful code. Oh, that would be wonderful, Shini. Yeah, so that's a very common requirement that okay, whenever if they want to load the lot of metal master, okay, even they want to populate okay the lot of control indicators also. Okay. No, this yeah, is not that okay. The, no, this is not that body actually. Okay. This is not that body. I'll just tell you, it's the enhancement part. Okay, this is not this body. So okay. let me get that body. Okay. No, I think it's not actually, it's not even contained the sieve actually. <laughs> CP APO okay so okay create product okay yep exactly okay can you see this thing create a product new master okay in the mapping okay okay Yep, this is the bad body, okay. S C W M slash okay EX underscore okay ERP underscore prod. Okay. Yep. 
can you see here create product master new in the mapping inbound processing okay so this is that okay and always okay example is always okay available so you can even okay most of the times okay what people do is that okay they can just copy this okay the example implementation and then okay they can just go and okay build okay whatever with the code okay now you can see that okay in the product actually okay the create so this is a method actually okay which they have to go and okay implement it so you have to get, always tell the technical guys okay what actually they have to go and okay implement it also so you can see that okay delete that okay all these things and then uh, what are they want it okay and ultimately okay, you have to fill these particular okay the parameters only so this is the particular body i'll send you the okay the existing available code also very good yeah, so it's not that okay the SIF body. So create a new product master, a new in the mapping inbound process. Okay, so you can just go and okay, implement this particular enhancement spot also. So ex underscore erp underscore prod. This is the user exit. Okay, that will be getting called. Okay, whenever you load the material master. Okay, from ECC to EWM. Okay, so let's go back to that. Okay, the our customizing. So is it clear now? Okay, that okay the put away control indicators. Okay, what is the use of that particular put away control indicators? And then okay, how we can control that okay the specific okay the storage type okay stretch sequences. Now similarly okay we can define even the strategies okay for the picking also. So external warehouse management same thing okay in the we defined that okay the GR okay we defined okay the strategies okay. Now same thing okay we can just define that okay the strategies in the goods issue also. So in the goods issue also first of all okay you have to define that okay the stock removal rule and then okay you have to define that okay first of all okay what is the storage type okay it has to pick it up first and then okay once it finds it okay from which section actually it has to pick it up the same thing only okay and once you define those particular thing okay you can define that okay the indicators and that indicator okay you can just use it in the set sequence only so that indicator you can always okay use it in the material master only and same thing here also it, it assuming that okay you have some 10 fields okay to compare okay or to find the sequences okay you can always go ahead and you can do this optimization also so the strategies are actually very similar in the outbound and as well as inbound okay so outbound is just like a inbound is just like opposite of the outbound uh, sequences only same thing there we have a put away rule okay so whether it is a first in first out or okay, whether it's a last in first out okay all these things okay, you can just define it So you can just okay, and whenever actually if it is a first in first out, okay, you can just define it okay on what field actually okay you just want to okay sort okay for the particular so that okay which stock actually okay, it has to go and okay pick it up. So you can always see that okay the alternative unit of measure or okay the stock type or okay for which batch it has to be picked first or from which country of origin it has to be pick first or okay that HOID or okay these are all the fields okay which you can use it okay when it is using okay the particular okay the stock removal rule only okay suppose most of the times okay people will be using okay the we have that yeah yeah Sini, I am also uh, ask, I am going to ask that only but you should okay that's right SLE in the, yeah. I want to yeah. see where it is okay that's right because normal WMS we practice this yeah so yeah. Okay, this shelf life expiration date, okay, you can put it in the middle master also. So that, okay, now when the system actually, once the GR is done, okay, from that particular date, okay, it will go and okay, calculate when the it is going to get expired. So what are be the ones, okay, which are going to get expired soon, okay, they will be picked up first. Yeah. Okay, and, and is it clear? The, <laughs> yeah. Catalog of, I guess, 15 or 20 cent feet. <sighs> Uh, can we yeah. can we include more fields in here for that standard? No, no, no. Because okay, you know, these fields actually you cannot extend it. Okay, if you want to use actually okay the more fields, okay, we have to use the body only. Okay, Be good. Okay, okay, see, that's what, okay, the, in the body, okay, see, sometimes, okay, what actually we, people will be doing is that, okay, even the delivery hey, document, whatever Can you show one body how to implement it? Yes, yes, I can Whenever show you everything also. Okay, because yeah. yeah, I'll show you also. Okay. Suppose okay, let's take this thing. Okay, I just define the stock type rule. Okay, and then I want to define okay the storage type set sequence also. Okay, so the remove okay from the stock. Okay, now I just okay. Let me copy this thing. Okay, 
I just want to okay put that okay the storage type set sequence as okay that okay the pick hy okay so hyd okay pick rule now in this okay the what sets storage types actually okay in this pick hyd assign okay this thing now in this particular pick hyd first it has to go to this storage type 50 so i just want to change this thing so first it has to go to the storage type of gold then it has to go to the okay the hod then okay i can specify that okay it has to go to this thing bottom yeah so it will go in the sequence okay so now if I want to change this sequence actually, assuming that okay tomorrow I'm going to pick a special product, okay, for a, assuming that okay for a special customer actually, okay, I always want to go and okay change this thing. Okay. So if I'm having a specific customer, it has to be uh, okay, assuming that okay, it has to be always okay the it has to be picked by the cold only. If there's no stock available in the cold, okay, it has to throw an error only. If it is not a cold. So which is actually not possible okay in the standard. Unless okay, you specify that okay uh, is, is it clear now so you have to use that okay the body only in this case so I'll just show you that okay how actually okay we can yep. change this particular feature okay using the body so I just defined okay this particular strategy now I'll just go to the business add-ins okay now we saw that okay the business add-ins in the GR process same thing okay we have the okay the business add-ins in the goods issue process also now I need a body to change my strategy only okay so strategy now stock removal strategy now what I just want to change is that okay I just want to change of the set sequence okay so I'll just go and okay implement okay this particular okay the body so I'll just go here execute okay now you can see that okay the it is it will go and okay implement okay this particular okay the removal strategy of this enhancement spot so you just go here now now so z change underscore okay with underscore okay strategy So you just go and like implement this thing. Okay, just a minute. Okay, I think it needs a developer key. <laughs> One minute. Oh, 890. No, no, it's actually. Okay, sorry. It's 890, right? Okay, sorry. Yeah. Uh, can you mute your uh, this thing? Alright, I'm so okay with me. Just okay, go to the business add in. See here. Now go to the goods issue. Now go to the strategies. Now I just want to change okay my stock removal strategies. Okay. So now I just want to change the okay the set sequence. So you just go and okay execute this thing. So now 
just okay you just okay go on okay create okay till this thing okay then okay your abapper actually okay should be able to help you out even though I just know a bit of this thing so I always okay store it here So what actually today's exercise okay you can try to do is that okay for the whatever the material you created it okay when you try to create a warehouse task for the delivery just okay change the control indicators in the material master and try to see that okay how it behaves it also okay, okay. so z test underscore okay body z test underscore Okay, so removal strategy, okay, determine, yep, this is the one, sorry, not this one, removal strategy, yep, this is the one, I think so, yep. Okay, sorry, it's, right. it's an underscore. Uh, yep. You have to take out the key. Yeah. So... So tomorrow, okay, we'll talk about that, okay, the deconsolidation. So for the deconsolidation, okay, which we'll see that, okay, how to create, okay, the handling units and then, okay, how we'll pack it and then, okay, we'll define the work centers and then, okay, we'll send, okay, even the, once the deconsolidation is done, even before the deconsolidation, okay, I'll just talk about the process for storage storage control also. So now, whenever if you implement, okay, please remember this point also. Whenever if you implement any user exit, okay, in EWM, okay, please remember that, okay, it is always, okay, specific to the warehouse, okay. Any user exit, okay, it is specific to the warehouse. Is it clear now? Mm -hmm. So please remember this thing because, okay, this is the most common point, okay, people forget it also. So just, okay, click, click the button, okay, click on the button, create the combination. Now, it will put the, okay, the LG num. LG num is nothing but the field called as okay, the warehouse number. Now, you click on the button, okay, the filter value. Now, you just need to mention okay, the, your warehouse. EHYD equal to, I just want to call okay, the, my user exit. That means, okay, this user exit okay, it will be called only if my warehouse is equal to EHYD. So, even though I am using my EW, suppose, okay, let's take this example. Okay, for different warehouses, okay, I am having okay, the different user exits also. So, you no need to go and okay, disturb the other, other warehouse's logic here. Now, you just okay, go to the particular class and then okay, you can tell that okay, the ABAPR, okay, just, okay, just ask him okay, to go here. change mode double click here now change the set sequence now if you go to the signature you can always tell the evapor that okay these are the importing fields okay I have it okay and these are the output okay which I had to do this thing so it will pass that okay what is the import okay what is the system proposed okay the set sequence okay and then okay to even propose okay the is underscore l tap can you see here now this l tap okay if you are already a WM consultant okay, okay. Okay, you should be knowing it also. So this L tab okay contains the okay, the whole structure of the okay, the warehouse okay the this thing also. So I'll just show you that okay what are all the fields available inside this thing. So it is a changing field. So you can see that okay, the warehouse task internal. So it will prop it will contain the okay, the warehouse number, what is the task number, what is the position, okay? The only thing okay that you have to change is that okay there are some fields called as okay the VZ Bell or okay the destination also. So it will contain that okay from where it is coming, the source type, and it contains the material and everything, and it contains the shelf life expiration date, the whole complete okay fields. And I was talking about this in the country of origin also. Okay, so it contains all the fields and it contains the consolidation group also, the source. Now, with my body, I had to control only that, okay, the destination data only. So, you can see that, okay, in this particular structure, I can ask my ABAPA to put that logic and then ultimately, okay, he has to change these three fields. The destination storage type and the destination storage section and that, okay, the destination bin only. Is it clear now? 
Okay, so these are the three fields. Okay, you can just ask him. Okay, to put the logic. So I have the whole complete data here available, and even I have the together okay, what is the warehouse process type, what is the set sequence. Okay, what is the stock removal rule also, and then. I can just go and okay, update it okay, whatever the way I want it also. Even I can throw the error messages also here. Suppose assuming that okay, it could not find okay the right particular thing. I can throw the error message from this particular body also. Then you can just ask him okay to go and okay activate this thing. So yeah. Can we mention multiple warehouses or only one warehouse? We had to mention one. Uh, where actually suppose okay if you want actually okay oh you want to say that okay for the body yeah okay yes you can mention it also so I'll just show you that thing also how to mention it also yeah because that may be required because sometimes okay what people will do is that okay they implement the warehouse for one one main warehouse and then they will do the global rollout right okay so in that case actually okay we may want to use it okay the same logic okay, even for the other warehouses also okay. So once you implemented this particular body, you know right, okay now what actually you had to tell the evaporator also, okay, what has to be changed. So you just show him that, okay, what is that, okay, the import available for the body and what actually you are expecting out of the body also. Okay, so this you have to specify it in your functional specs or whatever your requirement, okay. So now if I want to use this, okay, the same code, okay, for other warehouse also. So what you do is that, okay, just go to the change mode of your filter, okay. Okay, can you see here now? After this thing, okay, you can put that R condition also. Right. Okay, so you just click on that R, and then okay, you can put that together. Okay, if LG number equal to yeah, HYD R, if my LG number equal to other warehouse also, then only okay, do this particular logic. Okay, okay got it. Otherwise, okay, let's say this thing, okay, if my party and title is okay, one thing I want to execute this thing also. So you can always okay go for either the R logic, or you can go for the you know, and logic also. Okay. Okay, so that way okay you can always okay control that okay your bodies okay how it should be. Okay. okay. So is it clear enough? So what actually you can try today is that okay, just try to define okay the various okay the set strategies and okay try to change the control indicators in the metal master and can you see that okay in the warehouse task, okay, how it is proposing the destination bin also. Okay. Okay, it's a very simple thing only, but it's a very useful thing. Okay. Okay. So, if you have any doubt, okay, so we covered about the master data, we covered about the strategies in the GR and the GI also. Okay. So tomorrow, okay, once we are done, okay, we'll talk about the okay, the deconsolidation. So how to define the okay, the deconsolidation, and then okay, how actually we are going to do this thing. So the example, okay, what we are going to do is that, okay, okay. assuming that, yeah. Is the strategies are complete for the uh, pick up, uh, pick strategies? No, no. We'll just okay. No, one, uh, once we start that okay, the G goods issue process, we'll define our own uh, picking strategies. Okay, we'll see that okay, how to do. I just want to give an example on here. Okay, so mainly I want to talk about the strategies for the GR only. So do you have any doubt in the GR strategies? Hey, can you uh, uh, run a uh, uh, scenario tomorrow? Sorry? Can you run the entire process? Can you run yes. the entire process? Tomorrow? Yes, yes. Yeah, we can do that thing also. So that's what, okay. Tomorrow, okay, I'll show you that, okay, I'll create a warehouse task, okay, we can see that, okay, how the destination bin is going to get proposed also. Yes, right. Okay. Any? Yeah. Uh, you mentioned that you will send the some kind of uh, Yes, yes, I'll do this thing actually because being a weekend I could not work on this thing, okay? I'll just finish it after my dinner. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Just practice, okay, till this thing, okay? So tomorrow, okay, we'll talk about okay the deconsolidation also by using these things. Okay, so in the deconsolidation, what I want to do is that okay, I want to get okay the two products. Okay, in one H U, and then okay, I want to actually separate them. Okay, and then want to send it through a packing, and then okay, want to do the put away also. So we'll see that okay, the process oriented storage control, and as well as okay, the deconsolidation also. Okay, and even okay, we'll see that okay, that how we can configure the okay, some of the R F process for the deconsolidation. 
so that okay. we'll be knowing it properly all these things. Okay. Yeah. 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 We'll continue tomorrow because. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. We'll just take a stop for the day. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks everybody. Thanks, Rini. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. I'll send.